it involves four individuals. One is uh, from the Neolithic, which is around 5,400 BC. Uh, <clears throat> and among the things that has been revealed is the fact that it was a female. Uh, and most of her ancestry was actually from present-day Turkey, 90% of it. So she was either an immigrant or the descendant, very, very immediate descendant of immigrants that were spreading across Europe at the time. The other three are males from the Bronze Age, which is around 2000 BC, a bit later. Coincides more or less with you know, Homer and the Iliad and that Greek period. Um, and it's part of what appears to have been a major overturn and replacement in the Iberian Peninsula of the population, uh, which affected only the or to a larger degree the males. And it's almost 100% replacement of Iberian peoples, males, <clears throat> by people who seem to have come from the steppes of what today is Russia. And what does this mean for Gibraltar? Do you think this will kind of encourage more studies to be done? Well, I think that the fact that we were invited to participate in this and we've worked with, as I said, the, the main, peop the main uh, leading team here is from the Harvard Medical School, which is a very important you know, genetics department, um, that they consider us, you know, uh, the material we've got here worthwhile, um, is on a par, for example, with what we're doing with the Neanderthals with the Max Planck Institute in Germany. These are the best laboratories in the world and they realize that we have some of the best material um, and it's open for a collaboration, which is a two-way collaboration where we all benefit. So I think that people are, are realizing that, or have realized that, um, but now they're realizing that it doesn't just apply to the Neanderthals, that we've got a much richer history and prehistory here than that.